Hello everyone, welcome to this video. It's time to talk about some natural beauty products again. I've made another order through iHerb.com. This is probably my third time, I believe, ordering from them. I've been really happy with their service, uh, their selection of products and things like that. So once in a while, I'll go back on there and uh, you know browse around to see what um, new products they have or what I've been hearing from people that are good you guys always make some fabulous suggestions on what natural beauty products to try so I got a bunch of stuff I want to share that with you and uh, if you're interested I'll put links to everything through the website down below it's just a few things not too long so I'll just link it directly for you guys and there's also a coupon code if you're a first-time shopper from iHerb.com anyways let's just get right into the products shall we the gold box right here, you know, I'm always so thrilled by the way that iHerb um, and the team just packs their products. Obviously, I've gone to take it out of the packaging now so I can show you guys easier, but um, pretty much everything um, comes in its own little zip bag. So all, you know, the liquids, the shampoos and whatnot, they put them all in the bag just in case they leak. Now, nobody has leaked yet because they always... Uh, put tape on here as well, but just the attention to detail. I'm always so impressed. So anyways beyond all of that Let's get into products first thing I got here is the now solutions cocoa butter You guys will know if you've been watching my videos for a while that I am so in love with the body shop uh, Cocoa butter body butter, right? And that smells divine is excellent and I've heard that the pure cocoa butter is something worth trying as well, but um, I have read through people's reviews that pure cocoa butter at room temperature is actually a solid. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get the cocoa butter uh, out of this jar right here. Actually, this is sealed. Why don't we just open it right now? Um, let's get this open. Oh, okay. So it, oh dear, apparently looks something like this. I can smell it. Oh, oh, it smells like cocoa butter. That's really lovely. But can you see that it's a solid and there's like flakes of whatever's left over um, or that's coming off? So if you guys are familiar with using these type of um, pure cocoa butter products, how do I get this out of the jar and onto my body? Let me know if you guys know. But um, this is really interesting. And this is, again, 100% pure cocoa butter from Now Solutions Multi-Purpose Moisturizer. I believe you can use this both on the body and on the face as well. So that sounds excellent. So I got this um, big old jar, about 7 fluid ounces, 207 milliliters. And then let's just get on over with uh, all these jar products. This is Nutivia Organic Extra Virgin Coconut Oil, USDA Organic. World's best cooking oil, 100% less cholesterol than butter. So this was something that you guys actually recommended to me to try out using coconut oil. Um, previously, I did a video and a haul actually from iHerb as well. I got a whole bunch of um, natural oils to try out for my skincare, especially during the winter time. And I did jojoba, macadamia, rose hip, and something else like oh sweet almond that's right and you guys said coconut oil was something that you enjoyed so much now I've never seen or had or touched um, coconut oil in like in a kind of natural form like this so I'm kind of curious to see what this looks like so let's open this together sealed once again from Nutivia that's the brand and they say that you can use this obviously for cooking. Um, it probably has a lower smoking point or actually higher smoking point and it's supposed to be healthier for you. But let's take a look if I can bust this thing open. Uh, ooh, it's tight. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. I got a little corner open. Oh, wow. It smells really... It smells like, you know, Ferrero Rocher, but like the chocolate version, no, not the chocolate, the coconut version, the white one. It smells just like that. I'll give you a closer look. It's, it looks pretty solid in the jar right here. And again, this is a big old jar, 444 milliliters or 15 fluid ounces. I may try cooking with this. I'm not sure if it turns out very coconutty. In food but this smells amazing now I have been told that some people do break out with coconut oil so if you are or you think you might be um, maybe not get such a big jar get a little one if you can but I seem to be reasonably okay I've used products that contain coconut oil and nothing bad has happened to me 
thus far. So fingers crossed, this one will be good as well. Um, for body and for face, I know people use it in their hair. Let me know how you like to use this if you're a coconut oil fan. But again, 100% natural extra virgin coconut oil. I think these guys will come in really, really handy for uh, the colder months, which is just starting to roll in over here in uh, Western Canada. Now, next thing, Real Technique brushes. I've got here the Expert Face Brush. Um, the Samantha Chapman Pixie Woo line of brushes, you guys all know this, don't you? And this was a brush, I was debating between this one and the stippling brush. And I asked around on Twitter and, um, you know, looked around and things like that. And people tend to like this one or get more use out of this brush, the expert face brush for your foundation. And of course, I've seen loads of you guys use it on YouTube, on your blogs, and just talk about it overall. So between those two, I did decide to get this one, the extra expert face brush so i'll open it so you guys can have a closer look as well for those of you who are not familiar with this i actually do own the um core the core range for the face so the the set of brushes in the little case i do have that collection as well from um real technique so this one looks like so it is actually a flat type of brush if you can see that not too big. I'm interested to see how this works when applying foundation. I do have a brush from, I believe, Royal and Langnickel that looks somewhat similar, but in a larger size. It's called the something super extra foundation brush or something like that. But this is the one from Royal Techniques. Got this one as well. Then we got to talk about shampoo. All right. This is a hot topic in my kind of beauty discussion right now because I've been trying to, well, with my hair all grown out and all this is my kind of natural virgin hair, not colored, not chemically processed, anything like that. I've been looking for shampoos and conditioners, just overall hair care that would treat my hair well and uh, however, not be too heavy, too rich for my current hair condition. I used to use really hardcore products like Joyco K-Pack, which I love, I really love, but it's way too much for my normal hair right now without you know it being chemically processed. So I've been looking for other replacements for that um, and trying to go the more natural route if I can. So I got this one from Giovanni which is the Smooth as Silk Deep Moisture Shampoo. Now there is a conditioner that goes along with this as well, but because I do have a lot of conditioning masks and conditioners all together, I decided just to get the shampoo and I'll use up whatever I have in my little storage bin of um, intense conditioners or hair masks or things like that. So I only got the shampoo. I've used it two or three times because I was desperate and I was out of shampoo. And you know what, so far this has been really, really good. Um, previously, I also did purchase the Giovanni ultra sleek I believe in the um, grayish purple packaging looks super chic but way too heavy I think for my hair on a day to day basis so I'm putting that aside for now maybe go back to it once I color my hair which by the way I might do just saying I did buy hair color uh, it was kind of an impulse buy I don't know but this guy the smooth as silk deep moisture shampoo actually isn't terribly like it doesn't weigh your hair down and it still felt nourished but cleansed. I think it's a good balance for my hair right now, um, being pretty normal and you know my virgin natural hair. So that's the shampoo and then two face products here and they're both from Alba Botanical. Now this is a range I've never used previously so this is new for me as well and you guys let me know if there's anything great from Alba, Alba Botanicals that I ought to try out. Uh, the first thing I have here is the Natural Even Advanced C algae enzyme scrub. So it's a facial exfoliator. Now there are a few different types from Alba Botanicals. However, I did look on the back and uh, a few of them contain the synthetic polyurethane beads, which I am not a fan of. They really just don't feel good on my face, to be honest. So I found the one that says walnut shell powder. Now, uh, here's the thing. You guys have, you know, Talk to me a lot about the St. Ives scrub, how it's bad for you because it contains walnut shell powder and I'll give you micro cuts and, and things like that. I am still a little bit on the fence because I just really love that gritty texture and feel of it. And the plastic polyurethane beads really doesn't do anything for me. And I don't like the feel of that on my skin. So I do prefer the walnut shell powder. I will try this out, but I will be cautious. And you know what? If you guys are interested in a review or even a comparison, I'll probably do that on my blog and I'll talk about this. Just drop me a comment and let me know. But here you are, the um, 
advanced sea algae enzyme scrub with a whole bunch of interesting ingredients of um, over on the back I won't you know dilly dally over here and talk to you about that but it will come review time up on the blog so I'll let you guys know what happens to that then last thing here natural Hawaiian facial mask and this is poor affecting with poor affecting papaya enzyme doesn't that sound fancy and this comes in a jar also again from Alba Botanica and I have been kind of itching to pop this open but I do have some other things to use up first so I might wait on this a little bit this actually comes in what looks like uh, an aloe gel now this is supposed to contain papaya enzyme but it's green and it's gel so this was totally not what I was expecting um, however we'll have to see how it works maybe it'll be more refreshing because of this texture instead of like a gooey goopy mask um, papaya enzyme is a chemical exfoliant you know it helps to um, kind of break down the glue so to speak that bonds your dead skin cells to the rest of your skin so you wake up or you'll um, reveal fresh newly exfoliated skin so in a way this is almost a physical exfoliant and this one is a chemical exfoliant both for exfoliating dead skin cells off your face so you're nice and beautiful and glowing so that wraps up my eye herb haul it's not too big i think but a good amount of products and a little bit of everything in there as well if you guys are interested in anything in particular you want me to do a review once i've tried them leave my comment down below if you um, are a big fan of any of these things i picked up and you want to give me like little hints on how to use it best or what's your favorite way to use it especially when it comes to the coconut oil and the cocoa butter please leave me a comment i'd love to hear about that so until next time i'll talk to you very soon take care Bye-bye.